Hi class. In this video, I'd like to show you a couple of different techniques on how to complete week three project assignment. Let's go ahead and open that guy up and see what we have. Okay, so this week's project will be using the tools we have learned in Illustrator to create two images of your choice. Compositions must include one illustrative and one photograph. So one illustration and one photograph. So you can approach this in one of two ways, okay? First, you have to create either an illustration and you have to find a photograph. Or you have to create a, an illustrative background in which case you still have to find a photograph. We're gonna mix illustration with photography here. As I said, two possible choices. You can use an illustration for the background and incorporate a, a photograph into that, or you can use a photograph for the background and uh, incorporate an illustration into that. We'll show you some examples. This is an example of a photographic background with an illustration incorporated. And then down here, this is an, uh, this is an example of an illustrative background with a photograph incorporated to it into it so you can see the difference right photograph with illustration and then illustration with photograph okay so we're going to take a look at how to do both so the first thing i want to do is i want to set the file up so it's eight and a half by eleven file right but eight and a half i'm okay with eleven uh eleven by eight and a half so in other words you can use that as a, a landscape or a portrait orientation either vertical or horizontal i'm going to go uh, and start my my project. And first thing I did is I opened up. I just created a new illustrator file. I just went um, a file new, and I, I this is eleven by eight and a half. Okay. Now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place my photograph in there. So I'm going to come across the top of the screen and the file well, the word file, and I'm going to come down where it says place. I'm going to select place, and that's going to navigate me to find my photograph. Depending on where your photograph is stored, you'll navigate to your photograph. Mine's in my downloads folder, so I'll just select that guy. I'm going to click place, and you can see my cursor is loaded up with that image. So I'm just going to come up to the corner. I'm going to click the corner, and I'm going to place it. Okay. Now as I zoom out, I can see that the image is far bigger than the, the file, the 8.5 eight by 11 file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce the size and I, I want to, I don't want to reduce any smaller than the eight and a half by 11. So we're just gonna keep it right here. Now, looking at this, I, I can move this around until I find the most optimal spot, optimal spot. So in my plan, which will come, it'll be a little more apparent in one second, but I'm gonna keep it right like that. Now, I'm gonna show you in a minute how to crop out the rest of the overlapping portion of the image. But at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and place my illustration. So at this point, you will have gone out into a separate document and you will have already illustrated something, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to this file right here. Remember this file? I used this for a video demonstration a little bit earlier in the class. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my illustration out of this. Now guys, I don't want you to go to a previous assignment and select your illustration and use it in this assignment. What I want you to do is create a fresh illustration for this project. So in this case, I'm just I'm just doing this as just to, to show you. It's a matter of brevity more than anything else. Okay, so I'm going to come out here and I'm going to select the lion. I'm going to hit Command C for copy. Then I'm going to come over to my image and I'm going to hit Command V for paste. Okay, there's my lion. I'm going to bring that down here. I'm going to study my image a little bit more and I want to figure out the best place to place the image. And I think it would be really interesting to place the uh, illustration on that branch right there. So what I'm going to do is I see that my lion is kind of facing the wrong way. We don't want him walking into the tree. I want, so what I'm going to do is I want to reflect him to be going the other direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across the top the word illustrator. I'm going to come to object, transform, and I'm going to say reflect. Okay. And I'm going to reflect that at 90 degrees on its vertical axis. And you can click preview to see. And that's exactly what I want. So we'll say, okay. At this point, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to drag him right up. And we're going to place him on that branch. And I see he's a little bit too big. So I'm just going to come to the corner. I'm going to hold my shift key down. And, and when you re and I'm just going to resize. Him. Yeah, it's beautiful. See, now whenever you resize, you have to hold that shift key down uh, to constrain the original proportions, right? Otherwise, you'll get some distortions. It's really, really important. Now, imagine, if you will, that this could possibly be a logo. So for an example, the example is that if you had, uh, let me see, what was one of the examples was, um, uh, where was that? Oh, here, uh, a photograph of an open road with an illustrated car logo. 
or a stack of vegetables um, with a farmer's market logo. So you can see how I'm using an illustration and not a logo, but you could definitely use a logo. Let me show you a couple of examples. Uh, okay, here's an here's a, a photograph, a back photographic graph, photographic background with these illustrative techniques added. And then here's another interesting one. And this is just a, a, a image of a, a swamp with a an alligator added. Okay, so there's a couple examples there. At any rate, so let's go ahead and close those guys. So I can see that now we're, we're looking really good, right? I mean, I think I got everything I need to be in place. So the only problem is, is we're, we still have this exceeding, this, this image that's exceeding that eight and a half by 11. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm, I'm gonna crop that out. And in order to do that, it's really easy to do. I'm just gonna come over here. Now I'm in my direct selection tool. That's my black arrow tool. And I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna select that image, okay? Now with that image selected, up at the top of the screen, you're going to see it says crop image. Now, nope, it, that crop image isn't there what, until you select the image. When you select the image, there's the crop image, okay? So we're, we're crop that image and say, okay, and here's our bounding box to crop. Now, all I have to do is take this and bring it right over to the edge of the page, say, okay, I'll say apply, and there you have it. And there's our finished assignment for, this is the technique for placing a illustration into a photographic background. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, create the same project, this time using an illustrative background and placing a photograph therein. Okay, stay tuned. Thanks guys.